You Were Kermit by Bonnie Worth, illustrated by Tom Brannan. Hi, I'm Kermit the Frog, and I enjoy being me. Can you imagine what it's like to be me? To begin with, if you were me, you would be green. This means sometimes you might be mistaken for a large pickle. But being green is fine if you like to blend in with the scenery. If you were me, there would be a certain someone who would always be chasing you. You would find yourself being, saying things like, No piggy, I'm busy piggy. If you were me, you'd like to tap dance in the rain. Play your banjo in the shade. And sing along with the crickets on a on moonlit nights. When the green, green froggy comes hop, hop, hopping along. If you were me, some things would be very special to you. Drinking marshmallows in your hot chocolate. Jumping in mud puddles. Searching for four leaf clovers. And making giant piles of leaves. If you were me, you'd have lots of friends. You would have all great times together, usually. But sometimes your friends would not get along too well. Exactly one half for piggy and one half for animal. If you were me, you'd have a best friend named Fozzie who tells the corniest jokes in the world. Here's one of my favorites. Why do tigers have stripes? Because they'd look funny in polka dots. Ah! If you were me, you'd have a gigantic family, hundreds of aunts and uncles and cousins. Sometimes having a big family is a little crowded and noisy. But a big family comes in mighty handy when you need to borrow a pair of socks or when you want to play a quick game of leapfrog. If you were me, you'd like spending time just alone, just thinking and watching the sunset. But you're not me, you're you, and you're special. Can you tell me, what's it like to be you?